Uh, to my granddaughter that's in Florida. This is your grandpa. And, well, the farm's doing pretty good. Got some new updated equipment stuff. And, well, it sure would be helpful if you'd come down and help out on the farm if you want to bring as much stuff as you want. Got an extra room for you and everything. But, yeah, grandpa could use some help. So, if you want to come on down to grandpa's farm, Sure, it'd be nice to see you and have you help out. Thanks. So today we're going to give you a little tour around the farm, show you what we've got, and um, see if we can decide what we're going to do with the farm. So we started off with, we got our yellow bug that we brought with us from Florida to come out to the farm. Got Grandpa's truck here. Cute little truck. Can't tell what it says. Is it Conquest on there? That's cute. I love the wheels. Very nice wheels. Um, let's go check out the inside of the house. Actually, let's back up so we can see the house. The house, um, yeah, it needs a bit of work. It's a bit run down. Grandpa hasn't kept up with it very well. Let's go see if we can go inside the house here. And, um, oops, jumping over things. I'm not sure why I'm jumping over things. We got the surfboard inside, see? Got that. I got the bag from just getting here, moving from Florida. I'll oh, get an extra surfboard. I'm not sure what I'm planning on doing with a surfboard out here at the farm, but hey, we got to bring them with us, so we brought them with us. There's the kitchen. Again, it needs some, some cleaning up. Some new wallpaper. That wallpaper's a bit dirty. More moving boxes. Oh, another surfboard. I forgot I had so many sur surfboards with me. Uh, very old. Wow. Is that an old radio? That is an ancient radio. Grandpa needs to upgrade. He's got a nice TV, though. Let's go see what else we got in the house here. Ooh, nice vacuum. We got all the boots and things by the door. Ooh, only a few books. I guess I haven't unpacked the rest of the books yet. Alright, well, let's head back outside. That's about all we're going to see of the farm there. Let's go ahead and we'll go check out this little shed. We've got a nice big trailer for hauling stuff. Nicely chalked. A logistics. We've got <clears throat> another tool here that I... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, it's got folded down on sides. I'm not exactly sure what this one would be used for. New to the farm. I guess it's for dropping stuff. See the handle back there? Alright. Uh, we need to go to the other side of the barn here. Let's see if we can get around here. Oh, must be open on the far end here. How do we get in this puppy? Oh, there it is. Is it all locked though? Grandpa, why you got it locked? Okay, well I guess we're not getting in that barn. I can see stuff in it though, so how do I get to the stuff that's in it? Let's see if we can peek through in these holes here. Yeah, there's a the tractor. Let's turn ourselves here slightly. Some sort of old tractor in there. Can't tell what it is for sure. Oh. Very old tractor. Ah, come back here. Yeah, some sort of tractor. It looks cute. A small tractor, too, it looks like. Um, I don't know. We'll talk to my grandpa about that, see how we can get in there. Let's go look at these tools over here. Alright, part for a combine, it looks like. We've got our silo there. Alright. Got a little wind mill thingy. Alright, we need to figure out how to open these doors. So, ah, there it is. Okay, you gotta be at just the right spot. And we found our combine. Alright, <clears throat> figuring out how to open doors. Never would have thought the B button opens doors. Let's walk inside here. We've got one nice big New Holland combine. Actually, hey, Grandpa, this actually looks really nice. Grandpa did a good job keeping that one nice and clean. We've got two of those. What kind of tractors are these? Case, that's what I thought. Okay, nice. Got two Case Pros 7210s. Look great. Snazzy. Ooh, we got weeds growing in here, Grandpa. Alright, but that nice. Nice, looks good. Alright, now let's go figure out this other part, because I want to see that. Um, hang on. How do I close this? Ah, get away from the building. Might be a good and close it. Nope, I don't need to jump. I'm so dumb. Okay, we got that closing. Oh, we got some um, plowing type implements, tilling ground tillers and a 
Looks like a plow there. Alright, let's go check out how to get in this barn, because I really want to see these old tractors in here. Uh, it looks like it has a lock on it, so maybe it still won't open, but we'll give it a try. Be ah, there. Ow! Oh, excuse me. Sorry, didn't mean to be in the way. Ooh, look at this old tractor. It's an, an old Massey Ferguson. Nice. A very old style. Something that I don't actually know what it is. This is an old. No, it doesn't have a top thing on top for a seed. Or does is that a cedar? I have no idea. Definitely a cool antique. Needs a new barn to store it in. And then a Amazon? Amazon? Amazon. Uh, D830 Super. That looks nice. Very cool. Grandpa's got quite the stash of, ah, excuse me, tools. It's handy. Alright, let's get this closed. Oh, hang on. Do I have to be in the doorway for it to close? Yep, I gotta be in the doorway and it tries to hit me. Okay. So let's see what else we've got. Let's see. Oh, we got this red barn up here. Let's go run up to the red barn here. Let's see what else is in this. Do we have a chicken coop here too? Yeah, I got a chicken coop. Do we have any chickens actually here? Oh, we do. We have some chickens. Nice. Hi, guys. You gonna start laying some eggs for me? Can take them somewhere down in town and sell them, hopefully. Love the old chicken coop. Very cool. We've got a big field already plowed out over here. And then one back there. And then I think, is there one more? Yeah, and then one more over there. So we've got quite a bit of area for farming. What is this area here? Oh, yeah, we got something in this. Let's see if I can squeak through here carefully. Ow! Oops, okay, jumped over. What is this supposed to be? Oh, <gasps> crap, I've got an old car! Ooh, what is it? Oh, and a sofa, cool. Or, let's see, or some sort of chair. Uh, got an old tire. <clears throat> it's a cool car. Not sure what it's supposed to be. It looks like some tree branches have fallen on it. Grandpa needs to clean up. We got an old bathtub, pipes. Uh, looks like a mattress. Probably some snakes in here, too, that I'm now jumping through, walking through. Yick. Lots of pipes. Some old tools. Okay, well, cool. Oh, oh, I jumped over that fence. Good. So that's the farm. Oh, what do we have on this side? It's a little crate of some sort. Oh, there you go. Air conditioning. Oh, the wood pile. Oh, yeah, that's important. We need the wood pile for the winter time. So we've got some a great waterfall back there. So we've, we should have plenty of water, which is great. Up on the hill there is a uh, church of some sort. I think we'll explore up that way. Got our cell phone tower, so we should get great signal. And, um, yep. That is the Ant Hill Farm. So hopefully soon we'll get some things in the ground. It is mid-spring, so it looks like we need to start planting here fairly soon. So we will work on that, but uh, thanks for coming and visiting the farm with me today. Welcome back guys to Ant Hill Farms. Today we're going to go load up in the truck here. I think we need, oh, I don't need to stand in the truck. Alright, uh, oh, I forgot how to start the truck. Uh -oh. Ah, figured out, okay. Let's get this puppy backed up here. Oops, backed up. Got a little Brazil sticker on the back there, Grandpa. What do you got that for? Alright, and I think we need... I actually don't know what we need here. Bought some seed at the store, so we gotta have one. <laughs> Better figure out how to get to the store. I think I need this trailer. Oh, ah, sorry. Going in. There, right, Grandpa. Going in the bushes with his truck here. Oh, good. Can I look inside it there? Ah, bump the other one. If we're close enough, I can attach. Okay, good. Ow. This is probably a bit too much truck. Trailer for this truck. Oh, I cannot see over this thing. I don't need to see under it. Oh, wow, I need a better vantage point. Um. Oh, get back in the truck. How do I switch how I see here? Press 
down the right one. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go from inside the cab today. All right, now we gotta figure out how to get to the store, which I don't remember very well how to do. Gotta get out of the farm, it's gonna be a fun job too. All right, so I know we gotta go this direction, but like exactly where and how, I have forgotten, so. Actually, I just realized that I don't know where the store is. Okay, we're gonna go this direction. I need to ask, I should have asked Grandpa for directions before I left, but oh well. We're on the road now, so. Ah! Oh. This truck is not what I'm used to driving, as you can see. Oh well. Okay. Try to drive a little slower here. First with this trailer. I've pulled a trailer before, but it's been a while. Let's see if we can get to the store here. For correcting the steering. Oh, it is only 15. Okay, I guess I should slow down then. I didn't realize this is a speed load. Oh, now it's 35. Okay. Why would you change it to 35 through the section where you're got this tight turn coming through here? Wow. Okay, whatever. Alright, um, I don't, no, don't want to go that way. I don't think, or do I? Oh. Oh. I took out the speed limit sign. I'm so sorry. I'll have to call the police and let them know about that. Alright. Let's try to get up this hill. This truck, I don't think, is meant to um, pull this trailer. I think this is the direction to go. Seems about right. Okay. There's a fuel station. Alright, let me pull in here for a second. Ah. Wow, my driving needs some help. Wait, this might actually be the store. I thought the grandpa was going to let me drive his truck again. Oh yeah, I found the store. Cool. All right. Now we gotta figure out. Ah. Uh... Oh, I just unattached it. That was really not smart on my part. How do I get out of here? Okay. So, oh. I'm standing on my purchase. Okay, so how do I now get my purchase into my vehicle? That, I don't recall. Um, oh, I wonder if I was supposed to bring the cedar here. I want it to just be able to stick it in this trailer, or maybe I can't do that. So I'm not back in the truck here. I have a feeling I was supposed to bring the cedar. That doesn't seem right either, but, um, we're gonna give that a try, if I can remember how to get home. Stop, stop sign, okay. Let's head back down this road. I think this was a road that will take me home. Come across that sign that I hit, well, although I'm fairly close here. Um, oh, I think I've taken the wrong, ah, the wrong road. We need to get down this way. Yep, there we go, okay, on the right road. I'm just gonna hog the whole road because it's just gonna be safer that way, I think. So if you know an easier way to get the pallet from the store, um, let me know. You know, it's, it's grandpa wasn't there to tell me how to do it, what what to get, so uh, I just gotta figure this out on my own. So if you got any tips though, let me know. Right, can I I think there's a shortcut, but we'll, we'll take this. Ah, We'll take out more trees and poles, it appears. Let's try to keep going here. Oh no, I can't the right way. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a different farm down there. I was confused. Okay, so. It doesn't make sense that you'd have to take your cedar all the way to the store in my brain. Um, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me at the moment. So we're going to unhitch that one. Oh, I don't know. How do we make it unattached now? Okay, so I finally got a hold of Grandpa, and he says I need to go forward. Why am I going backwards? There we go. That I need to. I'm in a really weird spot. That's what's wrong with me. Okay. Let me hop back in the truck view here. Alright, let me see if I can. Back this up. Back. Oh, I 
Okay, I'm gonna see from the other direction now. Alright, so I'm gonna try to hook it up to the cedar here. Since I guess I was supposed to have had a to get this? Am I running into the barn? Why am I so far away? Why am I so far away? Okay, there it goes. Right, come back down. I can't even zoom in anymore. Oh, there. Wrong buttons, that's the problem. Can I hook up to this? Oh, I need my flashlight. Oh, there's nothing to hook it up to. No wonder it wouldn't hook up. It's supposed to be the other direction? Uh, it's supposed to be one that just goes on that old. So, Grandpa's... Uh... You know what? Let's see if we can use this. If it'll hook up to this tractor. to that. Do I have any? I don't have any lights on this tractor. Um, oh, good. I have a few lights. Okay. We're going to drive this out then. Let me hop out real quick here. I got to get run over and throw the truck off here. Oh, won't let me turn it off. Okay, fine. So we hop back on the tractor here. Let's um, go back to town and try to get our seed. In the dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. I gotta find my way in the dark. That's gonna be fun. Hopefully there's not any cars in the road here. Switch my viewpoint here. Yeah, there we go. I can see the front of the road a little bit better. There we go. I knew I should have asked Grandpa a few more questions before he left for town, but he said this was easy and just to go grab the seed. Well, this has not been easy, but we're still gonna go grab the seed and hopefully we can get it planted in the morning. It's already what? Nine o'clock at night? No. Eight o'clock at night. Let's see. It's definitely hard to see with this thing. We're gonna be plowing in the dark, or seeding in the dark. We're definitely gonna need some um new headlights. Right, came this way. There's up there's that sign that I ran over. I still forgot to call the police about that. Oops, and off in the bushes. Overcorrected there. Which direction did I go? I went uh, this way right here. I think I did. Oh yeah, there's the store. Okay. So here. Oh, not the rock. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's see now if it'll let us have our seed. Oops, I just hit the seed. Okay. Alright, so we got it loaded, now in the dark, I gotta get it back to the farm. Oh, Grandpa told me this was gonna be so easy. Grandpa is a liar. Alright, got it loaded. This has taken an extraordinary amount of time. And here I thought farming was easy. My, oops, hop back on. I was, sadly, misinformed about that information, I think. Alright, let's see if we can get this home. Who would have thunk you had to bring your cedar to town to get your seed? I would have think we don't live too far from town. If you lived any further, my goodness, this would have been a pain in the neck. Alright, let's get around down to the farm here. 
Try not to take out anybody's. Oh, oops, oops. <laughs> Dangers of driving in the dark. Sorry, people. Let me to come into your property here. I think I missed the road. I'm gonna go that way. Definitely need better lights if we're gonna to drive this to the um, store for our seed. Wow, it's dark. Did I take the right road? Yeah, I think I took it. Nope, I'm now about to take the wrong road. I need to go down, not up. Come on. Oh, they don't have access to that land? Oh, well, that, well, no. I'm not trying to. I think I'm trying to seat on it. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just get home. Oh, good. There are tractor signs. That's nice. There's the spot I was supposed to have missed. Wow, this road is dark. Thankfully, there's not many people out this way since this is where our farm is. Oh, boy, is it dark. Driving in the middle of the road just so I can see those white lines. Probably should be driving a little bit slower since it is so dark, but hey, it only goes 24 miles an hour. Oh, now we're on here where there's like no lights at all. Fun. Oh, great. Okay. I should really stay in the center here. Watch these. Oh, there's the truck's lights. It just would not go off. Wasting fuel. Alright, well, better park this, I'm assuming, here in the barn to keep that seed dry. I'm gonna park it right in here. I'm gonna turn it off. Hopefully, it turned off. Alright. Nope, keep that attached. I wanna get off, that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, well, it has been quite the day. I'm not going to go into the house and go to bed, but thank you guys for um, joining me as I try to figure out why well, I'm standing on the truck. So I try to figure out how to um, farm. Thanks. Bye. Ah, good morning, granddaughter. Just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be out of town for a while. Have a few business uh, things we have to, I have to take care of. And I also have a, a doctor's appointment to get to and get a checkup on. But anyways, just wanted to let you know that if you wanted to try planting one of the fields, you could go ahead and do that. Uh, I think you said you already got some seeds, so go ahead and uh, put some work in if you want to. And I should hopefully be back for dinner tonight. And uh, hopefully I might bring something for dinner. I'm not sure. I'll let you know by text if I can figure out how to use the phone to text. But anyways, I hope you have a good day and I should see you later tonight. Bye. Good morning, welcome back to the farm. So we finally figured out how to get the seed last night. Now we've got to run back over to the barn, which, oh, I just realized I don't think I closed last night. Oh, that was not smart. Grandpa will not be happy about that fact, but we're gonna run back over here to the barn. Uh, it's about seven in the morning already, and we're going to hop on the tractor. Wait, um, okay, now that's scary. Where is the tractor? Um. Oh yeah, I took it over to the field to take a photo. I forgot, you know, Instagram world, gotta go get photos of the tractor with the sun kind of coming up. Why do I always walk through the weeds? I'm so dumb. Anyhow, um, that was scary. Completely forgot <laughs> what I did with my tractor. So, um, looking at this field, I think we're ready to plant stuff. We're gonna hop on the tractor here and uh, see what happens. So, all right, everything looks good. Yep, okay. Do we need to do like a pre-flight check on this thing? There's no remove before flight. <laughs> we better not be flying. Okay, uh, let's hop on. Sorry, I'm about to start this puppy. Okay, cool, we're gonna start. Good, now, um, I know we gotta, I know, <laughs> important thing is keeping things straight. I have a, that's the, the significance Grandpa told me was make sure everything stays straight. That I, um, 
unfortunately I don't really see happening, but we're gonna give her a go. So let's get this as straight as we can here. Start with her. Let's pull, pull forward to right here. Alright, oh, is it dragging in the dirt already? Oh, this is gonna be dragging some dirt. Okay, that's weird. Um, now, how did Grandpa tell me to lower this? Um, do we need to hit. Oh, no, I'm pulling up the map. I don't want to pull up the map. Uh, let's see here. I don't remember how to turn this on. Oh, hang on. How did Grandpa tell me? I really should have listened better. Maybe written down some better, um, better instructions, do you think? I think I should have. Hmm. Oh, I think it's... Okay, cool. Okay, that lowered. Okay, remember that part now. Got it lowered. Now, how do I... Activate it? Let's see. Do I just start going? No, it's gonna... Let's go forward for a second. Does it just start dropping seed? Pause. No, looks like it's doing something. Is it actually dropping? It says we have 99% wheat. We're gonna just give that a try and see if that works here. I guess we shouldn't back up here. Up it says 97. Okay, yeah, so it seems like we're doing it. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, I'm not totally confused here. I'm sorry, I did not even out this field very well. The best we can at this. Oops, no, no, we went to farmer. Ah! Alright, come this far and then hit stop. And I gotta know how to come lower the tool. Um, raise it up. I'll drop any seed out in this part here. Oh, stop, stop, man. These things move so fast. The braking system is awful. Try this again. So get a line back up again, straight here. Or sort of, kind of straight. Alright. Back it up, still. Back it up. Alright. Hang on. I think I need to be more centered. Are we... No, we're not even close. Okay. Back. Okay, that appears better? Yeah, we're gonna go with it. Alright. Let's just drop the, um... How do we drop the again? B? Yeah, okay, figured it out. Right, let's slowly go. I wish this thing had cruise control. That would be helpful. I'm trying to keep it, to keep it slow here. I felt like 9 miles an hour is too fast for me this first time. Alright. Alright. Oh, I got that figured out. Okay, good. We're gonna go like this. Stop. Stop. Pick it up. Turn. Okay, get that. No, nope, that was terrible and awful. Okay. Get it. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Hey, actually, that's not too bad. Okay, uh, lower it back down. Let's go for another strike. Um, I think unless something exciting happens, I'm just gonna turn on some music here and just go for the flow. So, um, yeah, let's do that.
I'm not sure what happened here, but somehow my tool doesn't want to lower anymore. Oops, I've raised and lowered it too many times. Now it's mad here. Well, maybe I need to give the tractor a break. We'll, we'll shut it off for a second here and try to restart it. It is old equipment, so maybe that's an issue here. Let's try it again. No, it's, just, it's just running across. It's not actually dropping. Huh. It won't let me detach it either. Okay, well, you know what? It's time to go get a snack real fast. We'll go. We'll go run back to the house. Around the house. Oh, there's the house. Go back to the house. Grab a drink from the fridge real quick. And then we'll come back and uh, try to finish. Oh, wow. I've got a whole other... I think the seed that I've got left should fill... I think Grandpa said that other field... Should fill, fill that field back over that direction. And I don't remember what he said he wanted to put in that field. So um, we'll probably be ending up running to the... Uh, store again to get more seed. I think we're planting wheat. Oh, why am I so high? Get down. Get off the rails. Oh, fine. I'll go up the steps over here. Go! Enter! Alright. Grab something. Oh, here's some water. Who grabs water over here? I forgot grab has this nice water thing. Ah, that's good. Okay. Now let's head back out the door here. Oh, jumping over everything. Ah, get back in. Alright, let's, you know, been sitting on that tractor for a while. Let's do a quick run. Yeah, let's get some some blood flowing here. All right, we're running. All right, let's get back to the tractor. Oh wow, that thing's dirty. I need to scrape over where the hose is to uh, clean it. So let's get this puppy restarted. Right, so it's starting fine. Now let's try to lower this. Oh no, it's not lowering. Oh, that's a problem. Let's pull forward out of these weeds here. See, that's an issue. Because I was accidentally hitting the, the, the B button, which was, um... Oh, which was actually planting barley. For some reason I thought we were planting wheat. Never mind. I don't know what I'm planting. Can you tell? Um, huh. But now it won't drop. Well, that's weird. Let me see if there's another, um... Another button to press. Activate tool. No. Unfold tool. Huh. Is that talking anything? Well, that's strange. Huh, well, let's take a look at this puppy. I'm just stand on it. Oh, it's definitely very dirty. Um, doesn't seem like the dirt should cause a problem. I mean, it's designed to be dirty. Won't come unhitched. Well, let me see here. Oh, there's a disc thing. I actually wonder if those disc things are supposed to be down. I have no clue. Ooh, cool view from way up above. But everything looks hooked up fine. Um, oh, nice weeds. Alright, um, let's see here. Not out of seed. We got plenty of seed left. Um, yeah, it says this this fruit type is wheat, so I'm not sure why it's selling me barley. I'm so confused as to what I'm planting here. All right, well let's let's hop back on here again. Maybe um, back on here. Maybe let's try let's try dropping it one more time here. Oh, got my lights turned on. Cool. Don't need those. Okay, so I can turn my lights on, but it won't turn down. Put down my thing. And B. At the same time. Try the left button there working for anything else here. Let's try. Okay, so it'll pop up my map, so that works. Um <laughs> Can I open the cover, so that's still responding. Yeah, for some reason. Okay, if I hire someone, it'll work. I don't want to hire anyone. I want to do it myself. And when I try to do it myself, <laughs> now it won't drop it. Um, well, I don't want to hire anyone. You know, the hired people, they're nice, but I need to save some money right now. Um. Okay, well, that's really weird. Well, um. Let me try going over to another field real fast here. Maybe it'll. Maybe it'll work in a different field? I mean, that's kind of seems stupid, but hey, I'm gonna give it a try. I don't understand the quirks of these things. Alright, so let's go over to this other field. Oh, this is small fields. Stop! Stop. Alright. We'll go down here? No. That is the weirdest thing. It was just working. I accidentally hit the button to hire someone. See here? It'll work to hire someone. But I don't want it to work to hire someone. But then it raises it up. 
and it won't go back down. Ah. Uh, it also won't unhitch. How do I unhitch again? Activate, unload, unhitch. It's just supposed to be A. That's the weirdest thing. Why won't it do it? Huh. Okay, well, the field obviously makes no difference. I really didn't think it did. So let's head back to the correct field where it's supposed to be. And, um, that. Ah. Off the ground here. Oh, well, this thing probably goes fast 24 miles an hour. Wow! Okay. So, get it back lined up. We're here. We're pressing left and B. Just pressing that one. Nope, that backs it up. No, I don't want to hire someone. Stop hiring someone. Disconnect. Ah. Why would it disconnect? I am so, 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 so confused. Why it's not responding? It's like, it's just ignoring me. That's really annoying. It will disconnect. It will lower. Oh, well, I'm a ball <laughs> man. <laughs> no, it hired as an employee. Okay, fine. Here, but then if I hit X and I hop off, it doesn't move. Okay, there it's starting. Alright, let's just let Helper A do it because I gotta get this planted. I gotta get the tractor out of the way here because I'm so confused. Let me just let him run it for a few minutes and then maybe I can unhire him. <laughs> and, um, let's get this puppy out of the way, though. Let's get this back over into the barn. Okay, so, I don't mind helpers. Yeah, I like, I like, I like Joe, or whatever, Clyde the helper. I cried the helper, but, um, ah, truck's in the way, oops, <gasps> I almost hit Grandpa's truck, that would not be good, right, let me try to get this a little farther over this way, better, barn, better up, okay, let's get this way, I think we should let helper for A go ahead and just finish all that field, ah, combine, combine, go some, um, we're actually gonna go stand and watch him, I guess, do the field, since it won't let me finish it, which is really annoying. Wow, he's fast too. Okay. So come stand over here, so I'm not his way. Watch what he's doing. But I'm still really annoyed because I really want to do this whole field myself. But I accidentally hired him, or I accidentally offered for him to come over and do it. And ever since I've done that with the button, it won't let me go back. So I'm not sure, and it won't let me detach. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. But we'll watch, um, we'll watch Clyde finish up the field there. Oh, that's interesting. He backs up the other way. I wonder why he does it that way. Huh. I would think you'd want to back in the direction you're going to go, but I guess maybe it makes sense. I don't know. I have no clue. Why is he so slow? Come on. Hurry up and finish, Clyde. I got things to do. Like a whole other field. But I'm hoping I won't have to have you do. But hey, it's only like 9.57 in the morning, so it's only taking about an hour, so that's not... It's not awful. Back up a little bit here. I'm gonna get in Clyde's way. Keep going, Clyde. Keep going. What is it? They should do like one more swipe, or is it gonna be two? I guess it's not a swipe, it's a strip. But yeah, see, look. He raises it up, and then he goes... Well, that's the time he went that direction. Okay, that's weird. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever makes Clyde happy. Is he gonna do, um, if I stand in the field, will he run me over? Let's see. I think he'll just come right past me. Yep, he's gonna have to do, it's like two swipes. Strips, I'm sorry. Well, hey, Clyde! I'm Ooh, a hey. <laughs> sorry, get in your way. Pardon me. Well, I guess technically he might only do one more. Let's go run after him here. Helper A is blocked by an object. Ha ha ha. Yeah, object aka me. Do another one, let's see. Good. Man, he whips that thing around fast. Good going, big dude. Is he gonna take one more pass to fill in the edges? Or is he gonna call it quits? You better not lower it in the grass, dude. 
You're really gonna do it in some of the grass? I'm a follow man. <laughs> oh, brother. A space? Oh, wow. He jumped off like crazy. Okay, well, that was weird. All right, let me hop on here. All right, let me just try real quick. Will it lower? It's, oh, well, I don't have to try to turn it on. That might be helpful. It still won't lower for me. Arrgh. And I've got a bunch of seed left, and I need to go plant this field. I'm going over to this field here. Gotta get this planted, because I gotta go get seed for the other field. Ugh. All right, let's... Let's try here. Ooh, wrong button. Can I just start going? It's like it kicks up a little bit, but yeah, I can go. For, I can go way too fast. It's not actually planting. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna have to go park this for a little bit. Try to figure that out. Um, I think we're right here for the moment. Turn it off here. I'm gonna hop off and go check on the chickens. I'm not sure if they're supposed to lay or when they'll lay or I'm not sure what the deal is with these chickens. Hello chickens. You gonna give me any eggs to go take to the uh, store? No? Great. Hey, I see something up there. Let's go run around over here at work. Because I'm bored and now annoyed. I can't get the silly um silly thing to work, but I see a path up this way. Let's go check on this path real quick here. So, uh, looks like it goes here. Oops, 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 oops. Trying to come this way, and then this way. And then we'll come over here. Ah! Oh, oops, sorry. So many plants. Oh, there's a little shed up here. Cool. Can I go in the shed? What was the, the, to go in the shed? Was it A? Nope, that's jumping. Um, I think it was A. It wasn't. It was. Hmm, well, I guess I can't go in there. But, uh, interesting. Little shed up here. Oh, there's another little shed thing back at this way. Oh, no, wait. Oh, well, maybe that's somebody else's old house. <clears throat> As a well. Looks like there's an old rotten car back here. Nice, kind of new looking well, but everything else is old. Anything down there? Oh, excuse me. Ah! Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's good. Excuse me, oh, they banged my head. Oh, look at this old car. Cool. Very rusted out. It has not been in running order in many moons, so. Well, okay, well. I guess that was kind of fun to see, but oops, excuse me. I'll head back up the hill here. So, um, well, I guess I gotta better call Grandpa. Well, <sighs> we'll figure it out. But, um, thanks for coming along. Hopefully, we'll get this all. Figure it out soon. Bye. So guys, welcome back. I have been trying for, I can't even begin to tell you how long, to figure out the right tool set up to pick up chicken feed. Yeah, we talked about this in the last video. It was taking me so long. And I don't even know if this is a good option, but it's the first thing that I could figure out how to make it work. And so this is what I bought. So yeah, so we're going to now hopefully get this turned around. Get back up here. Pick up our chicken feed. This has been a very costly experiment. We did sell a few things along the way though. Um, just some things that Grandpa said we didn't actually need anymore. Um, I gotta figure out how to use this thing now. Hang on. I think we need to switch angles here. Yeah, let's go up. Okay. Back up here. But for the price of this or the price of a forklift, you could switch tractors and get all the equipment, so I chose to go with um, this option. So for now, I don't seem to be able to pick up what I'm trying to pick up. Okay. Now, how do I make this rise? Yep, turn on the map again. I don't need that. Hmm. Alright, back up. It stays. Okay. But if I roll up on it here, like it was, it tells me I have all this weed, which is terrific. But now, how do I make the tool rise? Well, it's showing me as like seasons and stuff. It's not showing me how to. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. 
I supposed to grab it from another side angle or something? Or am I not? Did you drive farther forward? Like, totally up underneath it now. Okay, select tool. Oh, hang on. I need to be on the front one. Okay. Oh, yeah. We need this one. I want to attach. Okay. The only options to give is giving me a, is attach. Ooh, I'm inside the track test, it does make it good. Okay, how do I raise this thing? I can hop out. Yeah, that, that works. That works great. Oh, not am I? No, I'm up underneath it. So how do we make it go up now? Don't tell me this isn't like the right synchronization or something to be able to do this. Let me hang back in the truck here. I'm not sure why I'm having so much trouble backing up here. Must be that trash can's very firm. <laughs> okay. The trash can seemed to win on that one. Oh, now I'm running into the ground, okay. Oh, this tractor's really got some issues, okay. Oh, this tractor does not work well. Huh. If anyone knows anything about this tractor, is it because of the... what I have on it, or what? But it doesn't drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wheels turn, but it, it doesn't really go anywhere. Whoa. Do I have a brake on or something? I have no idea. It has to be with that being that down, but it won't go up. Huh. Let me turn the wheels. There, it's driving a bit better. But the wheels are still... It's like it's sliding. Well, that is strange. Okay, let's see if we can back it up again. Yeah, it, it doesn't really back. Okay, well. <sighs> and once again defeated. I am going to, um... I think call it quits and call it defeated and say, Hey, we tried. We failed. Can I sell back my bag of seed here? Uh, so let's see if we can do that real quick. Let's hop out of the truck. Oh, I have a tractor. Let me turn it off real quick. Oh, back out. Let me run in the store. Can I real quick? This bag of seed that I have spent $1,500 on, can I sell it back? I cannot. Okay. Now that's fine. I'm just curious. But I'm just going to have to leave it here and ignore it for a little while because this tractor is going bye bye because it doesn't work. Um, okay, we're selling that back. Done. We'll hang on to the other parts for the moment. Um,. But while I'm in defeatist mode here, and I'm, I'm annoyed, I do have one thing I do need to go do. Grandpa told me that, um, hang on, get, get it out of the store. Grandpa did tell me that I need to clean the chicken coop, which I should have realized, but I didn't. And so, um, we bought this little thing. And, um, <laughs> I now have to drive it home. So, um, yeah. Fun ride. Probably gonna go, what, five miles an hour? Let's go. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. That's what it sounds like. I need to shift my angle here. So I can see. Yep, this is like driving a vacuum cleaner. Oh. Vacuum cleaner that barely moves. I need to figure out a combination. I mean, I'm, I'm doing great with my combinations, as you can see here. Um, wow, this is slow. I will not, I should not wreck anything, though. I'm going too slow to wreck anything. But it's a psych psycho psycho one sweeper. Looks cute. Um let's see if we can get it on the road here. I'll zoom in a little bit closer and give you a quick tour around. But um yeah, it's got three little blades. Sweeper I think it's not a blade, it's a sweeper thingy. It's got a handle and a steering wheel and all. And I look very uncomfortable driving it. But um seems to be 
what's going on and I gotta get this puppy home so we're gonna just keep um keep driving enjoy the very long drive home and um, we'll see if we can figure out how to make this work farm is finally in view. We're going to go ahead and take the dirt road, which probably means we'll go slower. No, it's going to go six miles an hour. Nice. Okay. But this is very, very slow. Terribly, terribly slow. Hmm. We might make it to the chicken somehow. You can see over there, the crops looking spiffy. A little sparse perhaps, but looking good. Growing steadily. I need to go back and find out if my silo has anything in it. First I gotta figure out how to get this little device into my gate. Oh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Grandpa didn't tell me that. We just thought it would fit in, but we're gonna figure it out, hopefully. I see you can light it in the day though. So hopefully we can get this figured up and figured up. Ha ha ha. Figured out and um head to sleep soon. You get any more eggs? Nope, no more eggs. Oh no, we do actually. There's some. There's some there. Let's go over here to the silo. No, oh, there's a dog. Hello, dog. I'll have a name for you soon. I promise. I promise. Okay, if I come up underneath here, is there a way to get anything? Okay, I'll load here. Ooh, let's see if I can try that. Um, a tiny bit left in here, so let's see. Just so I understand how this works. Ow, oh, I messed up. Gotta get a bigger truck. Or a smaller trailer. Or a trailer. Ah, see, it's not accepted here. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go see something real quick. So I just pressed RBY. I am gonna go see real fast. If. Using that same combination of keys, I think you pick up my seat because I know I got it in here before. I just don't remember how, which is very frustrating. But we're gonna go try real quick and just see if perhaps that combo works. If not, eh, what's the worst that could happen? We have wasted more time. That's about it. Man, I gotta get this trailer combo fixed. Ah, you just stop getting on sides would be wise. Good thing I like this drive into town. It's a good thing they know how to put power poles back up because I have a chance to take them out. I should go talk to the sheriff in town and see if I can pay for some of the signs. Let's go ahead and prepay for any I must. Ooh, I should probably see if I can fill up on fuel with the truck too while I'm here. 
Okay, well, what I tried didn't work, so... Start to break on. So I'm still stuck with I don't know what to do. Oops, I'm not going to stuck on now. Ah. Drove too far over that curb. I'll buy them in the trash can. Alright, there's some other stuff. Someday I'll figure this out, but for now, I don't even know how to get, if I have anything in my silo, I don't know how to get it out. I think I need to do some research, talk to Grandpa some more. One of these days we'll have a very, very productive farm day, but until I get all this figured out, it's not going to work. So... This is much faster to drive. Oh, I meant to stop the gas. Oh, phooey. Oh, I'm gonna stop the gas next time. I might. Oh, I probably need to park this one back to town real fast for gas. But anyhow. Well, that's what I'm gonna call it a day. It's uh, getting late. More things at the farm to do. But, um. Feeling kind of defeated with everything today. I did sweep up a little bit of the corn stuff for the chickens, so I guess that was successful. I got it there. But, um, that feels like that's about it. So, um. Oh, where's my dog at? Oh, it's on the other side of the side, though. Okay. I was concerned a minute. I was like, oh no, did I hit my dog? Woo. It's like, I don't know how to get anything out of the silo, so. Okay, well. Like I said, we're calling it a day. Oh, I'm about to. I should watch where I'm driving. Not talk while I'm driving. Let's get back over here. Thanks for joining me on my very unproductive. I think we should call this, um, Grandpa's Farm Fails. And once we start getting successful, we can refer to this stuff, I suppose, as, um, Fan Grandpa's Farm Fantastic or something? I don't know. But, um, but for now, yeah, we're gonna call this series Grandpa Farm Fails. And um, one of these days, we'll get it all figured out. But until then, I'm just going to say adios because I need to talk to Grandpa on the phone some more. So, have a great one. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time, where hopefully we'll have a fantastic day on Grandpa's farm. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farm. It's a beautiful morning out there. A little haze out there on the mountains. It's very pretty. It's actually, I, I like not having that barn right there. Um, but I had because I can get a great view out the front door, which is awesome. But now I have to get out the front door and um, <laughs> get to work here. So the other day, I plowed this new field. This is a massive field, I'm realizing. And... Um, to go look here. I've kind of messed up the edges. I don't know how to fix that. Like, can I come back through with something else and just um, straighten it out? I don't actually know what to do with that because I've made a really big mess right here. Um, I'm going to go check. Let's go to let's check the landscaping tool here. And let's see if it will let me do anything. I need to zoom in some. Okay, so right there. Let me zoom in some more. This area here. What can I do? Can I smooth it? Ah, that's what I can do. Okay, 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 okay cool. So now we know that that works. Um, and I've cut back some of my field that I didn't need to do. Let's make this smaller here. So I can use this to come and smooth out the edges that I have messed up royally. So let's come around this direction. Because uh, I did make it come out way too far, so, um, I need to be closer, though, too far away. And, I guess I need to be, can I come from up above? Uh, I guess this is going to work. Okay, let's do, so I did the flatten. Is that what I did? Or did I do the smooth? I did the smooth. So let's do Y for smooth. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, let's come back this direction. 
No, that's not what I wanted to do. I feel like if I could only be on top of it a little better. How did I? I guess I can from this angle. Oh, the zooming button. Okay. But how do I? I need to be like right. Up. I want to be like right <laughs> in the trees. Okay, this seems a little bit better, maybe. Sort of. Maybe not. But I still need to be right over here. Why? 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 Oh, why did I plow so much back into the trees? Alright, maybe I need to come from the other direction because that is like, really complicated to see inside those trees there. Oh, yeah, this gives me a better angle, I think. Well, it's a little bit of. I don't know for sure, but we're gonna go with it. So why is the button I'm using? Don't know if that's the one I'm supposed to maybe use, but this one I'm using it seems to be working the way I want it to. <clears throat> this way we'll make our field nice and crisp, and since I came over way too far, and it was um gonna be way too um, hard to turn around. Oh, let's go ahead and fix this section here while I'm here in the trees. I can't even see if I fixed it yet. Guessing... Eh, didn't quite get it, but we'll go with it. Right, I can zoom in slightly here. It doesn't have to be perfect, I just want it to be a little more crisply, um, straight. So mangled up. Okay. Just keep it, if you're wanting to make your field straight, just keep it very, very straight with that line. And it seems to be working. Oops, there we go. Alright, so if you need to fix your field, straighten up some lines. Give yourself more um, distance since you messed up, <laughs> like I did. This is an option. You just plow straight to start with, and you won't have to worry about it, but... If you didn't, then you can go with that. Now, um... I'm not as concerned about these edges. But I want, I need to bring this back on this side as well. Because this I went way too high. Um, gotta have some room to turn around, so. Um, maybe we're straight here. So I definitely don't want to be doing up my hill. I'm not gonna work out so great. It just has long, basically whatever's in that green sphere will um, get taken out. Right. Looks sort of straighter. I think I want to crisp it up a little bit better. Let's go right. Let's go right about there so we can. Oh, I'm trying to get more back this way. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go. I feel like I'm not straight. Yeah, I do I don't want to come over. I want it to be. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Just not doing a really beautiful straight thing, but I'm gonna give it a try. Alright, this is relatively straight. Now let me see this edge here. Oh yeah, I messed up this edge. Royally as well. So, um... Oh, that's funny. I thought I was hearing a, uh... Is this far as I'll let me go in? Oh, I didn't want to take out that much. Alright. Uh. I gotta come back and fix a couple spots so I may fix a few plow, plow areas there. Oh, let me get zoomed a little bit better. I'm taking all that there. Ah, I hit the wrong button. <gasps> yes, so much landscape. I meant to hit Y and not B. My finger in the wrong spot. Let me take this. Let me take this back down a little bit. That way I won't take down as much. Why again? 
Why, why did I plow so bad? Why? I don't know. Can I zoom in? No, you can't. It definitely would have been easier if I'd done it right the first time, but ooh, I couldn't do that. Alright. Alright, well, it's not perfectly crisp. Not fantastic, but, um... Now nah, we gotta fix that edge. That's gonna look terrible. Um... Let me get straight onto the field here. Come back. I gotta push on my way. Oh, I can see it now. Ew, I don't want to take out that much. Yeah, so it's okay. Just go straight and just take out that much. So that'll be fun. See, that's what happens. It's the ground is not flat. Yeah, so they don't take out that much. Oh, well, that kind of, kind of sort of works. Get this all cleared back up. All right, let's get on with landscaping. Let me go back. All right, let me go grab my tractor. I'm going to try to just do one straight pass along there and clean that up and then fix those other spots that are in there that I have majorly messed up. All right, um, open says me. Thank you. Now we got to back this up because I course had to come in. Ooh, that thing's so dirty. Ooh, pressure, pressure. Let's see if I can back this puppy out of the um, shed here without looking. Nope! Can't do that one. Make that angle. Yeah, there we go. First try. Alright. I think we'll do definitely easier to start your plow on this side, I think. Ow! Ow! That was a bump. Huh. Okay, good. Gonna have to smooth that ground out. Oh yeah, that is pretty bumpy. Okay, well, I'll have to get back to the landscaping part at some point here. Get her straightened up over here. Alright. So, now I'll put the plow where I want the end of my road to be, then I just have to, um, you know, tell straight. <laughs> we all know that's not gonna happen. Well, let's try here. Nope, I am too far over. Yeah, that's not surprising, is it? Well, let's just fix the areas. I'm not going to super worry about that. Where was my areas? There, here it is. I'm not going to super worry about the edges. We can clean those up at another time or just not worry about it. Just kind of where I'm kind of leaning towards the moment. It definitely looks better than it did, so we're going to go with that. Drive out into this field, which I know is terrible to do. You shouldn't do. Do a nice donut. Oh, what you also should do. Right. Lord, I'm not sure we're gonna get that spot here. Yes, we did it. Got it. Alright, well let's go drop off this tool and let's see if I have any seeds. I also didn't move that tool, but I'm not worried about that. Well, definitely gotta fix that piece of ground. I messed that up when I was trying to rearrange some things. Um, the moment, let's just park up into the tree here. There's too many things going on in the shed right now. Alright, got 
got that dropped off, but where is my cedar? I think my cedar is this thing. Oh, that's the cedar. Did I back it? How in the world did I get that in there? I don't know. How did I get that in there? Oh, oh I'm gonna find that in a second. Oops. I hate it when I drive into the wall and can't leave nothing. Makes things great. Don't need to know where I'm going as long as I know where I've been. Well, then I know that I can pick this up. Alright, so currently I have wheat. I think we're just going to go with wheat since I've already got some wheat. Right, we're going to get this puppy um, plot. And then we're going to plot it. But we're going to get this puppy planted. I don't actually know if this is the right time of year to plant, but. Well, we're planting it now. It's early midsummer. Probably is not the right time, but. um... Again, I think I said this in another video, this is experimental farming this season, so, um, turn on our sower. Lower our sower. Ooh, we have a ridge marker? Where do we do the ridge marker? Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we don't need that, we need it on the other side. There we go. Okay, well, let's go. Yeah, that hill's a pain in the neck too on. So on, that's for sure. Definitely a smaller field, and we can always maybe. Well, we probably can't really expand this field any, but, um, it's just another good use of, um, property, so, we got it, so might as well use it. And yes, I am still using all the helps, because it's just easier. Oh, I messed up that. Oh, hooey! Alright, so I guess I gotta come up with five of them. I thought I did. I need to overlap some. Some more than I thought. All right. I'm not gonna worry about doing more there, but just make sure I'm overlapping here some. I, mean, I know you don't want to do too much because then you're wasting seed, but you gotta do some. Right. Uh, so see No, nah, wrong way to back. That hill has definitely made things complicated. Ooh, yeah, with that land's not smooth. Okay. Well, once we've, um, next season, we'll have to um, come in and smooth the property out. So that might be packed with the other stuff there as well. So that the ground is not smooth enough. If I go slower through those areas, it'll be really slow here. better. That area is really messed up, so we'll have to um, work on smooth that, that out after the growing season here. So in your opinion, what is the best option? Is it best to just hire somebody to plow your fields for you? Wow, I way overlapped on that again. Didn't overlap on that again. Underlapped? <laughs> but what's your opinion? Is it better just to hire someone to plow your fields that's just faster, more efficient that way? Because um, obviously, I do a terrible job at it, so maybe they do a better job. I'm just curious what your opinion on that is. Especially since we're kind of burning through cash here on the farm, the less I have to pay someone right now better. Plus, this way I learn how everything works. So that's kind of useful. And like I learned that, hey, you gotta overlap. 
if I hire someone else and explain more. I do have one guy who does a little bit of stuff around the farm, Clyde. Um, here's Grandpa's farm hands. He does a few things for me, but uh, mainly trying to do it all by myself. Yeah, that worked out to be much better. Amount of space. Wow, I'm really messing up here. I got to like really overlapped. So we have a mess up. We have as much um, sea here as possible. I don't know if it's just because of the ground. Is it just that the ground is so messed up, or is it just that I'm not overlapping enough in those areas? I know what the bumps are. It makes sense. I'm not overlapping, or that it's just the bumps, but. For the rest, I'm not sure. Wow, that's a very messy field. <laughs> oh, well. I didn't expect it to be great, but I didn't expect that bad. I think I'm going to have to drive back over. Oh, it's the disc throw thingy. That's the problem. I need to raise that silly thing. It's the ridge marker that's making this. No, I don't want the other one down either. That's what it's doing. It's the ridge marker bouncing around, isn't it? Alright, let's see if it's not as much of a problem without the ridge marker down. Wouldn't that be terrible if I just caused that myself by being done? It just doesn't drop seat for some reason. Oh, well, let's go ahead and try that. I hope it wasn't right there. So I still have seed. Hmm, let's stop dropping seed for some reason. Well, that's hashtag problem. Oh, I bumped the buttons, I turned it off. That's what happened. Too many, there's too many buttons here in the cabin. I turned it right off. There we go. That's better. Alright, well, we've got this basically filled in here. I think this bump here is probably not going to fill in the best, but we're going to give her a try. And now we have three fields full of, um, full of product. So hopefully things will start growing. We've got the one site growing. This may run into an issue that I'm, I may be too late in the season for this. We'll see uh, the next time we come and do, we're probably going to do some more grass cutting and um, see if we can sell that somewhere. There's got a lot of extra grass hanging around. I just got to get rid of that. And, um, oops. Then um, we're going to do some land clearing to different things, so oops. that'll work. so I can see. Ah, I'm in the tractor. Alright, uh, shut it off.
Alright. So that's um about it for today. We got a new field cloud and um, correct it, smooth out a little bit there, and we've got seed in the ground. I still need a name for the dog, so if you have any ideas for the dog, um I'm just bad about giving him a name, so I need to work on that. But uh yeah, very excited. The farm is looking good. Grandpa seems to be pleased with the progress, so that's great. And um let's go look down over here at this field real fast. Yeah, this one's looking pretty good. Huge field. How many? Does it tell me how big it is? Yeah, just tell me that one's bar uh, barley. Ooh, what if we got some weeds out in this area? Careful, we'll get through here. Come right through here. What is this? Why don't we have wildflowers growing in our um? These are weeds. I don't really know what to do about the weeds. Maybe we'll try to figure that out next time. Between figuring out weeds and um. Getting all the grass cut back, getting some of the ground kind of cleared up a bit. We've got plenty to do on the farm. I need to clean up this entire gated area, um, fenced area. It's a mess. I, I'm not happy about it. I need to figure out how to move some of the things, clean it up, but that's for another time. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully the new field will do well. Let me go run back over there and check on it. Oh, you know, I haven't checked on my eggs either, but... We'll catch up with that next time. But there's the new field. It looks hideous. Honestly, it's not smooth ground. Uh, before next season, we're definitely going to have to smooth that out. But it's nice to see more ground being used. So um, hopefully this means the farm will turn a profit this uh, fall. But we shall see. So stay tuned if you're enjoying the Ant Hill Farms series. Make sure to like and subscribe to Ant Hill Farms uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Welcome back to the farm, guys. As you can see, it is time to harvest. Kind of popped up on me rather quickly, and um, then I realized I didn't know exactly which tool I need to use on the front of the harvester. Uh, but finally figured that out, and um, I actually tried a day early to harvest, it wouldn't let me. So now today is the magical day that we can harvest. So I'm trying to get that done. My first time using the combine. So I'm very excited about that. It's definitely a big, big machine. I like how wide it is. Uh, I know there's much wider ones, so someday in the future we'll try out one of those massively wide ones. But uh, very excited for the first harvest. Be exciting to uh, get this all off the ground, into the silo, and then later on to market. But there's really not a lot to say while I'm harvesting, so I'll just give you some music to listen to while we harvest our field of wheat. There will be an issue later on with this field because I accidentally uh, did a few swipes in barley and so it's going to cause a bit of an issue. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, for the moment, doing wheat shouldn't be too much of an issue. So we'll enjoy watching the combine.
So I'm always learning new things on the farm. This is the next day we ran into an issue where I couldn't figure out how to get the grain from the combine into the trailer. So we finally figured it out. Uh, got a different trailer. Uh, needed a second one anyhow. So went and bought a new trailer. And now I'm trying to move the pipe back and forth trying to figure out how in the world does this go in to the trailer. I just thought, yeah, you stick the pipe out and starts automatically. No, you gotta line it up like just perfectly so it's kinda sorta centered over the trailer. It definitely took me a, a moment or two. As you can see, I'm just sitting there like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> but finally, I think I finally, do I ever move up? It's taking longer than I remembered to move up. But yeah, finally, at some point here, I will move forward and realize that that's what you do. And just, it'll automatically automatically start filling. There we go. I figured it out. Except for then I went way too far. Had to come back. Went way too far. Had to come back. <laughs> but now we got it down pat. We know what to do. So emptying out the combine so we can um, get more grain picked up and then um, keep moving along. See the dog out there? I think we've almost about come to a consensus on his name. There'll be a future Probably like a short video maybe about the dog and what his name is going to be. Made some really good ideas, given a little bit more time to see if anyone else votes. But all coffee inspired names, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's filling up quite a quite a bit. I forget what the amount is. There it's finished. So now I'll go move the combine out of the way here. Hopefully if I'm smart I'll put the pipe back. No, I'm just gonna lower everything first. We'll just move it and figure out the pipe later. Stay there, dog. Hop out of that. Let's run back to the truck. Go ahead and get the truck swiveled around and go ahead and dump the grain into the silo there. Oh, that's funny. It sounds like the truck missed on the first start. That's not good. Don't need any truck issues right now. Stay there. Nope, dog. Oh. He likes to run out in front of me. He's perfectly fine, but I do kind of, sort of, video-wise, look like I run over him, but he's fine. Oh, <laughs> way overcorrected there. This trailer has a very, um, it's like a two-point? Yeah, see, it swivels on the back, and then it swivels on the hitch ball. So, um, that makes it very exciting to get turned around, and if you overcompensate like I did, it's gonna be exciting. So thankfully super easy to get it dumped in there and um, makes it very handy. I know many of you, if you've played this for a while, you know how this works, but this was a first for me. This is my first harvest, figuring out how to get it moved. So I'm just gonna leave the truck there, which actually makes sense because I think later what I'll do is I'll just come use the combine, point it up there, and then be able to dump instantly right down into the, uh, into the silo. So. Hopefully that'll make sense. Still trying to figure out how to put the pipe back. At some point here, I'll figure that out. It's an interesting series of buttons. Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. And um, now it's time for more harvesting. This field is actually, this is what? I think this is, a, that was one full combine for the field. I'll run into an issue with the barley here in a little bit. We'll have to switch, come back for the barley. Um, that did pretty good. So I think maybe another field or so. Finish this field and then move on to the next one before we have to dump again. It's getting dark already though. It's fall days. And I know there's some way you can, this white stuff along the side or what's coming out the combine, I guess there's a way you can collect that. Unfortunately I was not aware of that at the time and so I didn't make plans to do that and so I guess I kind of lost it all but uh, something I'll look into for next year if I can catch all that uh, not quite sure how you do it but we'll see if we can figure that out yeah it's just gonna be back to combining here for a while so Let's crank up some more tunes and get this field harvested.
a lot harvested yesterday, but we still have a lot to go. I think this is, what, two fields? We finished at like 11 o'clock last night, a little bit after 11. Or is it 10? 10 or 11, somewhere in there. And it's now um, like 5 in the morning, I think. We're trying to get this harvested because there is some rain coming, so we want to get this up and off the field. I already ran to one issue where I had to, to wait for a little bit because of rain. So trying to get the grain out of the ground so that we don't lose any of our crop. And yes, I know you're supposed to do proper rows. I was just like, hey, I want to create more of a border to turn around since the other field's so close. Um, Probably not the proper way to do it, but hey, it worked in the moment, and so that's what we did. It's definitely hard to see at this time of day. Those those of you who uh, maybe actually combine, you're actually farming, and you have to work through the night, that has got to be exciting to do. Virtually here makes it interesting, but in real life, that's got to be exciting. So. <clears throat> Went ahead and just cut out the entire edge. Oh, I didn't have the edge. I think I did. I just over overcompensated. I'm very slow. It's like, oh, I'm too sleepy. No, one hadn't turned around there because I have enough space. Yeah, I got that. Very, this is a very long field. Hoping to make it a little bit, not necessarily longer, but hoping to add a couple swipes on either side of it, maybe. Uh, just be to get a little bit more grain use there. Now, what is your opinion? Is it good to, if you have multiple fields, rotate, let one rest for a while, and then go back to you know, planting it after like a season or a short rest period? What do you do? Or does it seem to be fine just plant, 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 harvest, plant, harvest? And does that work? Okay, just curious your opinions on that. So we're kind of getting this field finished here and I think we're going to be pretty close to being full on the harvester. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just curious how much money I can get for the grain right now. Wow, my camera skills are bad. Uh, I'm curious how much I can actually get for the grain. So we're going to finish harvesting this, um, getting this combine full, and then we're going to go take a quick run to one of the uh, one of the places and see how much grain we can, or how much we can sell the grain for. I found that you can actually sell it at the restaurant, which is pretty cool. It's kind of close, which is handy if you just want to make a quick buck, because uh, the restaurant is kind of, I think, the closest thing for me to get to. It's definitely quicker than getting to the port. Um, I don't know what the other options are. Oh, almost the Ooh, I gotta fix those bumps. Wow. We got definitely gotta do a day where we just do um, land leveling. We gotta make it spend a day doing that because we've got some major bumps there that are definitely kind of messed up. And if we're wanting to make the field a little bit longer, wider, definitely need to fix that. We'll worry about that sometime in the future, but maybe an early spring, late winter thing. We'll, we'll, we'll work on that. This is filling up pretty quickly, so as soon as we get to that full point, why am I looking? I feel like I'm doing drone. Yeah, I guess I'm driving the tractor or combine and doing a drone. It works. Let's just say it's hard to drive that though because you don't know where you're driving to or from. Maybe I should just focus on driving the combine. That might make more sense. <laughs> yeah, let's focus on the combine. Can we do that? Can we just focus on, yeah, then, no? Mm -mm. Guess not. I'll see. use some money somewhere. Hiding up in the wheat. Kind of looks like one of those scenes from Interstellar. You just go back to the wheat there. A little bit scary and terrifying. And a little bit pointless also. Oh, oh yeah, I think that might have been a signal that there was a place was in need of some grain. Maybe that's why. What it was, I don't think. How do I probably pick it up? Why am I backing up so much? Okay, there we go. Oh, 
I helped out. Oh, why did I even help out? Oh, I remember I was letting Clyde do some while I went and took some grain to the, um, I forget where I took the grain to. I think I went to the port. But that's what's happening there. I forgot about it. I did that. Where am I going? Come on. Get to work. Move. I think I'm going to need a bigger truck. Especially if I'm going to be ha uh, hauling a bunch of um, grain. Probably going to need to upgrade truck here at some point. Watch out. Oh, that dog. He just keeps running out in front of me. Stop doing that. Then I kind of bumped him. Just pretend that didn't happen. Okay. I don't know which... Nothing like running into the um, silo there. Now, let's see if I can get my weed out. Okay, wheat. And it was at this moment that I realized that there was more than just wheat in my silo. I thought my silo could only hold one thing, but I found out that it could hold a bunch of stuff. And not only can it hold a bunch of stuff, but there was a bunch of stuff in my silo. So earlier in the year, when I was thinking that I was running really short of money, I could have been taking some of that grain to the different places to get some money. But I didn't know that. Yeah. So always check your silos. Just see what you got in there. All right, now I'm looking to see, I think I'm going to the port is what I wanted to do with this one. So I popped up the map just to make sure I take the right roads to, um, to get there, because I hadn't been there too many times. Been occasionally, but not too much. So, Let's see if we can get there without uh, tipping the tractor or trailer or anything. Because I did recently, I went to the store with the tractor to pick up something, and I tipped the tractor right on its side. So dumb. Don't understand how that happened, why that happened, but yeah, it did. So. Barely see the truck for the trailer. Ah, watch out for the signs, dumb driver. But yeah, as you'll see here as we get going through here, it's definitely. Oh, my bug is still sitting out here. I forgot. Why is it? Oh, my bug is still sitting here because one day my truck ran out of gas. And so I was trying to bump it and push it to the um, gas station. See, there's the restaurant's very close. If that's the closest place if I want to drop off grain. Good place to go. Um, I think I need to actually get some gas real quick. Yeah, because I'm kind of low. Go ahead and get some gas real fast while I'm here. Uh, but yeah, I ran out of gas and so I came and used the bug. Or did I tip over? I don't know. These cars are so easy to tip over. But one or the other. I either ran out of gas, tipped over, and so I brought the bug down hoping I could bump it back, I think, to the gas station. Yeah, because I think I ran out of gas. But, um... That didn't work, but somehow, suddenly, miraculously, got yeah, gas. I don't understand how that happened, but anyhow, it worked. I have a feeling I'm gonna knock off the cones. No, oh, I missed them all. Sweet. All right, so we need to head all the way down past the store, out towards the beach there. calm day. What time is it? Ah, it's afternoon-ish. Still pretty calm. And I just recently realized that this building off to the left is the cement store, and the building off to the right is the coffee shop. And I'm like, why haven't I been going to the coffee shop? So, someday we'll, we'll stop by and see what um, kind of drinks they have. But yeah, I haven't stopped by there yet. Actually, a lot of places in town I haven't explored, so I need to... Do I have a bike? I don't think I have a bike, but somehow I need to um, come out and just do a little a little walking tour, explore, see what's here, and um, learn more about the town. I've just been focused so much on the farming aspect of it, I haven't really paid attention to the town part. Now, if any of you who know, I just made a wrong turn. But why not just drive down the Railroad tracks. Nope, didn't drive down the railroad tracks. There's the other entrance. Okay, good. I 
think on this I will try to move the railroad tracks. Yeah, so I suddenly became a train here. You're actually supposed to go in that building over there, I think, but... I found this spot, and so, um... And it said it would take the wheat, so why not drop it off where the train's supposed to go, right? Yeah, brilliant. I only did this once. I know if next time you go around, you know, sit on the river tracks. <laughs> it would have been hilarious if the train had come, though. That would have been very, very funny. Thankfully it didn't, though. I might have really needed to buy a new truck. So, yeah. Well, we're going to get back to the farm here quickly so that I can take over for Clyde and we can get the rest of the fields combined, hopefully before it gets too, too dark or too far into the future. So let's go take care of that. Alright, so I'm back trying to go find the combine. Looks like Clyde left it down here in this field. So we're running to go get that real quick. And then I think we just have one field left? Or is it two? I don't remember. I think I'd, oh, I probably need to empty the combine, don't I? Uh, not completely full it does look like, but I may go ahead and just empty it so that that's done and we can just start fresh with that last field. Wow. done with um, harvesting. Or am I done with harvesting? I can't tell. Let me empty the combine here for a I have one field left somewhere. Get her turned around there! Oh, came down way too low. Not there higher. Got a pipe out. It's not going to extend that far! I am curious why I can't just drop the grain right into the silo. Why can't I just do that? Or can I? I just didn't do it right. Everything I read said you have to put it into a trailer. No, I'm too close. Too close. Wrong angle. Come on, try again. Yeah, go up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Get that filled up there. Was this like, I think it's like the third or fourth, maybe fifth time we've emptied. I kind of lost track. But it's been a, definitely a busy two couple days here trying to get all this moved around. Productive days, but very busy, long days. Alright, where am I going? I'm going to go. I don't know. Oh, I hopped in the truck so I can empty the uh, weed. It's like, what am I doing? So that's worked out handy having it there, just you know, empty to empty. It doesn't work great if you're in the field, however, field was much farther away, but for this, definitely it works. Alright, so we have all of the wheat harvested, but we just need to finish harvesting that little bit of barley that I have in the wrong place in the fields. So we're going to take care of that, and then harvesting for this season will be completed almost at my tractor. That was going to be bad. So let's get that harvested here really quickly.
we have finished harvesting that little bit of barley that we had. It's like two or three swipes, but it was a little messy trying to get that cleaned up there. Don't hit the flagpole. Um, but yes, officially finished with harvesting these three fields. I have one other field that is started. Oops, hit my tra trailer. Um, I have one other tra uh, field that started. I don't remember if it's wheat or barley that's in that field. Um, but with this cooler weather that's coming, I'm not sure how it's going to do. We'll find out. But that is it for this time. Definitely more to do on the farm. We've got some, um, some grass we need to get cut around the property, so we'll probably take care of that next time. But thanks for following along on this um, harvesting adventure. My first harvest is officially completed. And... I think successful, so thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time.